Well, many adults infected with the coronavirus will continue to have symptoms weeks, even months later, a syndrome that they call long COVID. WBC's Dr. Malika Marshall joins us live now. And doctor, there is evidence now that children can also suffer from this long COVID, but they usually don't get that sick, right? That's right. I mean, many kids who are infected with the coronavirus don't develop any symptoms at all. Those that do, they're usually mild to moderate and go away within a couple of weeks. But there are estimates out of the United Kingdom, again, these are just guesses, that about 13% of 2 to 11-year-olds, about 14% of 12 to 16-year-olds, and about 17% of 17 to 24-year-olds still report COVID-19 symptoms five weeks after their initial diagnosis. Things like joint pain, fatigue, headaches, dizziness, chest pain, rashes, to name a few. So they say, look, we need to do more research to find out specifically how COVID-19 impacts children. All right, interesting. All right, doctor, this one is really interesting. There are certain side effects from getting the COVID-19 vaccine that may tell you that at one time you were actually infected with the coronavirus. Yeah, they might give you a little bit of a clue. This was a new study. Now, I have to say it has not been peer-reviewed yet, so take it with a grain of salt. But it was a survey that looked at almost a 1,000 healthcare workers in the United Kingdom after they got their first Pfizer vaccine. And they found that about 4% of those people who had been previously infected with the coronavirus developed swelling of their lymph nodes compared to only about 1% of those healthcare workers who had not previously been infected with the coronavirus. Other symptoms that those who had been previously infected might uh, be more likely to report were fever, muscle pain, and fatigue. Interestingly, pain at the injection site and GI symptoms were about the same in both groups. And the amount of time between when someone was diagnosed with COVID-19 and got their first Pfizer vaccine, that amount of time didn't seem to really make a difference when it came to developing those symptoms. Now, I just want to remind people that if you've had coronavirus in the past, you still need to get vaccinated. And yes, you might develop side effects, you might not. But if you do, those side effects still tend to be mild to moderate and they usually go away in 24 to 48 hours. So I don't want this to make you more hesitant to actually go out and get yeah. vaccinated. That's a good point. I think it's interesting too, knowing that you just got the shot, when you get the side effects, to know that it's probably going to be short-lived, short I think is very helpful to know. Dr. Malka, Important thank Important for people you. to know exactly what to expect. That's right. Dr. You're Malka, welcome. as always, thank you so much for being live with us. And remember, Dr. Malika is continuing to answer your questions about the coronavirus. If you have a question for her, three ways to reach her. Her email is drmalika at cbs.com. On Twitter, her handle is at Malika Marshall, or you can Facebook message her, Dr. Malika Marshall. Lisa?